The stand was hawking ancient machine parts. The stand was hawking ancient machine parts that seemed to be from a stripped down printing press. I couldn't imagine where they'd come from or who'd want them. How did this guy make a living selling useless old machine parts in the middle of nowhere? He didn't have anything that I needed. It was a guess, but I figured the woman to be an American tourist. Just call me Sherlock. Hello. I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, hi there, handsome. What can I do for you? Hi, my name's George. I was just... Well, it certainly is delightful to meet you, George. I was... My name's Mrs. Henderson, but you can call me Pearl, I'm sure. Okay, Pearl. I was... So nice to meet a friendly American face so far from home. Pearl? Yes, dear? I was just wondering if you could help me. Why, sure, precious. Do you know anything about medieval weaving? I do a little needlework, but gosh. It's okay. It was a long shot. Have you talked to the boy on the bric-a-brac stand? Oh, you've met him? His name's Nijo, you know. Oh, he's just so cute, I could die. I'd love to bundle him up and take him back to Ohio. He might not thank you. I'm looking for something ancient, you know. Something to impress the folks back home. The poor boy was trying to do his best, but we still haven't found anything. Have you ever heard of a group of knights called the Templars? Sounds familiar. I remember. Dwayne had a book. The Holy Something and the Holy Something Else I can't quite recall. I read a little of it. And? Seemed like a lot of hooey to me. So, tell me a little about yourself, Pearl. Me? Oh, a gentleman's interest is always so flattering. Well, my husband and I run a greetings card company in a cute little place called Akron in Ohio. Akron? Cute? Little? Is your husband around, Pearl? Well, as a matter of fact, yes, he is. Sorry to disappoint you. What does this mean to you? Gosh, is this some sort of psychological test? No. Oh, well in that case it's a red ball. Does this red nose mean anything to you? Reminds me of my late Uncle Abner. Oh? Is he a clown? No, he was a drunk. Have you seen this man before? No. A friend of yours? No, not really. Have you ever heard of anybody calling himself Merlin? Merlin? No, Merlin. Merlin. There's an O in there. Moulin? You haven't, have you? No, darling. No Moulin. Do you know what this is? Lord, no. It looks painful, though. It's a sewer key. Who'd want to break into a sewer? Does this matchbook mean anything to you? You're a philomenist. Don't they have secret handshakes? Oh, George, now you're teasing. I've got some plaster of Paris. That's nice, dear. What do you think of this? Oh, looks scientific. It's a blood pressure thing, isn't it? I liked her too much to zap her with the buzzer. What do you make of this grease paint stained tissue? Grease paint. I thought somebody had gaudy taste in makeup. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. The merchant was selling fruit. I decided I might have some later. The stand was selling some fruit I didn't recognize. This is what travel is all about. Roam the world, 
and discover strange fruit. The guy running the stand seemed pretty happy. People always want fruit. I wasn't hungry and didn't want to buy fruit, so I didn't start a conversation. Embarrassed as I am to admit it, you can spot an American tourist a mile off. Hi, uh, I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, sure, son. Always got time for a fellow American. The name's Henderson. Dwayne Henderson. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Henderson. Hell, boy. I'm not in the office. Call me Dwayne. Oh, okay. Dwayne? My name's George Stobart. Have you talked to Nijo? Nijo? He's the youngster on that junk stand, right? Yeah, we've met him. He's a smart kid. Speaks four languages, and he's never had a day's formal education. He should go far. Kept trying to peddle garbage on us, though. You're not going to find much worthwhile around here. I know that, and you know that. But try telling Pearl. She reckons there's antiquities in them, Doris Dam. Do you mind if I ask you an odd question? Okay, but I might not answer it. Do you know anything about the Templars? The Knights Templar? Yep. Nope. Nothing at all. Well, you knew they were an order of knights. What I know and what I say are two different things, boy. I haven't lasted as long as I have in this business without knowing that. In this business? Sure. The greetings card business. Oh, please. I saw a medieval picture of a woman. Royalty or nobility, something like that. She was looking in a mirror, but the reflection was of a man with three faces. What do you think of that? Well, I think you should be in therapy. Does the image of a knight holding a crystal ball mean anything to you? Hell no. What would a knight want with a hunk of glass? I don't know. That's the problem. What's wrong, boy? It's not a crystal ball. It all came together in my head. What the conspirators had mentioned losing. The strange perspective of the manuscript. It's a lens! Do you think bulls have any significance around here? Weird question, George. Nope, I don't think they have. What does Pearl do for a living? Oh, I run a greetings card company, and Pearl writes the poems for him. You ought to ask her to recite some. You're a long way from home, Dwayne. Could say the same about you, George. Me? Well, I'm just sightseeing, that's all. Without a camera? Kind of lags to come all this way and not take pictures. Mind if I take a picture of you, George? What? Why? Ow! You could have warned me. You don't mind, do you, George? The folks back home will be real interested. What exactly do you do, Dwayne? Didn't I say? Oh, I run a greeting card company. Yep, we're based in Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland? Pearl said you're in Akron. What was that? Uh, nothing, just thinking out loud. What do you think of this? It's a ball. Big deal. Recognize this? A clown's red nose. Have you seen this man before? Maybe. Where'd you get it? I just picked it up somewhere. Sure. I'm always picking up photos of complete strangers and then asking around. Ow! Damn it! There. I've got another picture of a complete stranger. 
Maybe I'll ask around about this one. Do you know the name Merlin? Nope. What do you make of this? A manhole lifting key. So? Hey, how come you recognize it? Hey, how come you're carrying it? Yeah, well, let's just drop the subject, shall we? Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Nothing. Nothing at all. Look, I've got some plaster of Paris. Yeah, and I've got a picture of me shaking hands with George Bush. Of course, that was back in 76. What do you think of this? A blood pressure gauge? Why in blue blazes are you carrying that? I'm carrying it for a friend. Shake hands, Dwayne. Why? I'm just being friendly. Let's just be friendly by keeping our hands to ourselves. Yeah? What do you think of this grease paint stained tissue? You've been hanging around with actors? Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. The stand had kebabs dangling from the canopy. As a marketing device, it lacked something. Close up, I could see flies love kebabs. It was a kebab stand, and an ugly one at that. Hi, what's your name, sir? Hello, hello, you buy kebab. Most good. What do you make of this? Buy kebab. Most good. What do you think of this? Buy kebab. Come to the... Does this mean anything to you? No. No, you buy kebab. Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good. In the still air, the smell hung around like bad smells do. The stall holder's face wasn't a great ad for running a kebab stand. The stall had the fanciest awnings I'd ever seen. It was good to have some shade from the scorching Syrian sun. The carpet seller had an impressive collection of wares. If I had the time and the money, I might have bought a couple of rugs. Unfortunately, I had neither the time nor the money to buy anything. The carpet in the middle looked familiar somehow. It was the pattern. I'd seen that pattern somewhere recently. It must have taken him all morning just to set up his stall. I had nothing to buy a carpet with and didn't want to lug one around anyway. The carpet seller looked craftier than the offspring of a fox and an insurance agent. Hi. Hello, sir. Lovely carpet. Does this mean anything to you? Yes, yes. Carpet, yes. What do you think of this? Lovely carpet, yes!
Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Ah! Give to me! Give to me! A la mort! Many beneficent greetings, my most fortunate possible friend. Huh? Do I know you, mister? No. No. And again I say, no. But, my friend, do you not see our mutual good fortune in this meeting? How frank do you want me to be? You are a traveler, yes. Boy, you must be the world's greatest detective. No. I am told that is Sherlock Holmes of the big forehead and slipper full of shag. I, as contrast, am world's greatest luxury taxi driver. I can see where this is going. I am Ultar, taxi driver and luxury guide per excellence, yes. This I had to hear. Where does your heart desire to go? Simply mention the name to your obedient servant, and we shall fly there, swift as the eagle. Oh, well, I don't really want to leave Marib yet, but I'm sure that if I do, you'll be the first to know. He's good. You know where you want to go, you come to Ultar. Thanks. See you around, Ultar. Be having a pleasant day, full of shining experiences and happiness, my friend. The spittoon was nearly full. What did they sell here? Drinks or expectorants? Even if I'd wanted to spit, my mouth was too dry. Damn, the door's locked. Uh, I'm sorry? Did, did you say something? He say you not to go in toilet. Read sign, matey. Matey? It lose something in translation. My Arabic, Russian, and Japanese have a lot in common. I can't read a word of any of them. The notice didn't mean anything to me. By staring hard at the notice and squinting, I discovered I couldn't understand a word of it. I knew the door was locked. I'd need the key to get in there. The outside of the ornate spittoon was beautiful. The inside wasn't. I hadn't felt the need to spit since I was 12. I was surprised to see alcohol on open sale in Syria. Then I realized this wasn't really open sale. And then I realized they weren't even alcoholic drinks anyway. I had neither the time nor the money to buy anything. The club manager's bonhomie seemed forced. Looking at the place, I could understand that. This is definitely not what they meant when they said the joint was jumping. Hi, nice club you've got here. I was wondering if you could help me. What? I mean, I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, but I don't understand. No surprise there, all righty. He says sorry, but he not speak English. Uh, but he didn't say anything. He not have tongue. No tongue? What happened? It was bet. And he lost. He won. You should see other chappy. Oh, yes. I don't know why, but I felt like I could trust this guy. 